what if I delete a data store which has a running VM on it? So let's get cracking. So agenda for today, delete a data store with a running VM on it. As you know, we covered this in the previous topics, how to upgrade VMFS. I basically showed you the process which is uh, in line with the VMware KB article which I have mentioned here. Um, and that basically takes you how to delete it properly, obviously, uh, putting it on maintenance mode from step four here and unmounting the data store, deleting the data store. That's how you delete the data store. Um, but these two steps is a prerequisite, I would say, right? But what if we skip the fourth and fifth step? We don't put it on maintenance mode or we don't unmount it and we just straight away go in and just delete it. Let's, let's, get, it, um, let's get it done on the live demo on my lab here and we'll see how it goes we'll see the result ourselves so i'm logged into my vcenter here and uh, if i select my favorite lun which i have been playing around and doing demos on which is lun 3 free nas lun 3 click on the vms tab and you can see the kali linux o o1 running on this particular lun okay so now I'm going to do the thing which I have started. What says in the tin on this video? Deleting the LAN with the VM running on it. So right click. So you can see there's unmount data store. Uh, ma uh, maintenance mode for the data store. But the maintenance mode for the data store is grayed out because obviously VMware detects. You see VMware detects that it has a VM running on it. So it basically kind of protects. Uh, itself from deleting or unmounting so the answer is you you will uh, find in a minute so let, let's not do unmount let's just straight away go and delete it and then we'll find what happens so there you go you saw the error message coming up here The resource free NAS LAN 3 is in use. Okay, so let's click on this again and then click on this again. So you can see the VM is still running. You just get got an error message saying it's in use. So VMware protects you, um, which is very good as a VMware administrator. I do not need to worry about these things if I accidentally delete something. Um, VMware will say, hey, by the way, you have a VM running on it, so you can't do it. So you're you're safe, you're covered. So uh, all for this is for all those new administrators which are going through my channel and learning VMware virtualization. Don't worry. You're not going to get in trouble if uh, you're not going to delete a production virtual machine or a dev virtual machine when you are trying to you know decommission a LAN accidentally because if there is actually a VM running on it now you have to be very mindful when I say VM running on it so it has to be powered on if this VM was powered off then you could have potentially deleted this LAN which would be a different scenario altogether and if it was an important VM for you then you would have to go back to your backup team to recover it but to cover this topic today if you have a running VM a powered on VM which is sitting on your data store and you try to delete it VMware will warn you and say hang on a minute you can't delete it because it's in use so that's that's you uh, that's for you as a, a cushion from VMware so you don't accidentally delete a production in, uh, like a running VM in your production environment. Hope this video was uh, useful and it gives you a little bit of more confidence as VMware administrators to understand the product and uh, to be more confident when you're using it around in your production environment. So, and also at the same thing applies if you have a VM running which has 
um, and you have chosen to spread the VMD case on different LANs and even if the uh, VMX file is not on this LAN but a file VMFS um, VMDK file is running on this particular LAN uh, then that means you can't see that here however you can still see um, that VMDK file when you go to files and and obviously over here you will see that and in in that similar scenario as well um, although you can't see the VM and it may appear that there's no VM running on it but there are some files which belong to other VMs which are sitting on this particular LAN and VMware will stop you from deleting it. So the same principle applies on this scenario as well. Cool, so let's go back and uh, to my slide and um, quickly wrap up the session. So you have seen what happens, you'll get an error message and you shouldn't, you shouldn't need to panic if you accidentally uh, try and delete it and if it has any running VMs or running VMDK files on the data store it will pop up, uh, pop up an error message saying your it's in use you can't delete it does it make sense cool and um, so that was the demo which I wanted to show which we all done uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I post two sessions every week um, and you can reach out to me on Twitter and follow me on Twitter really I still have less than four five hundred subscribe uh, followers on Twitter so guys come on help me out here yeah um, and you can follow me on my blog um, also don't forget to check out my new blog where I'm starting the curation of content um, the question of the day today and I think you should really answer this one for me guys now what happens if I try to delete a LAN or a data store while a VM is running on the same data store so comment on below and um, uh, respond to my question of the day and I'll be waiting for you guys to answer thanks a lot see you guys in the next, next session cheers bye